Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Lung Pamai, and in this video, I'm going to introduce you to a custom library uh, that I've created so VBA developers can easily connect to Google Drive and manage files and folders. The program comes absolutely at no cost, and you can find the link to download the program from the video description. In the first part of this video, I'll show you how to create Google Cloud Project. We'll enable Drive API, set up consent screen, create and download credentials. And in the second part of the video, we'll install the program to computer and I'll demonstrate how to use this simplified custom library in your VBA program to manage Google Drive. Now let's go ahead and create a Google Cloud project. For demonstration purpose, I've created a brand new email account so that I can show everything from scratch. Okay, so from address bar, just type in Google uh, console.developers.google.com. Okay, so from here you can select the country um, where you belong and then you need to agree terms of service. If you like, you can um, subscribe for updates as well and click on I agree and continue. Okay, so if you already have uh, projects, then you should be able to see them here, uh, which we do not have at the moment. Um, well, let me just dismiss this. You can click on create project from here as well, or you can go and do it from the screen. So let me click here, and let's call this uh, Google Drive demo. Let me just call this Google Drive for BBA. And then um, this should be the ID for your project. You don't have to do anything there and click on create. Okay, so our project has been created. Um, let's click on view. Now the next thing we want to do will be to enable the drive API. Um, APIs, or you can just go back to dashboard from here and go back to dashboard. These are some of the tabs we'll be visiting now. So here, once we come back to dashboard, you can see this is the project we have created now. And from the dashboard, it gives you an option to enable APIs and services. So click on that button and look for drive here. Now let's enable the drive. Okay, so now uh, we have enabled the drive. You can disable the drive again API from here if you want. Or, um, okay, now that's done. Now we can go ahead and create our credentials for this project. So these credentials will be used from your uh, VBA project to connect to the drive API, okay, uh, to your Google Drive. Now from here, um, da, 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 we first need to set up consent screen before we can set up the credentials. Okay, so here um, you can either go for internal or external. For now, we'll go for external because we want uh, any, um, for this demonstration, we want anyone with, with Google account to be able to use these keys. Or, uh, yeah, click on project. And here, this is the consent screen. So when you're launching your, um, you know, like uh, your project for the first time from your VBA project, uh, it's gonna prompt the user so this page will be shown to the users, okay? For now, I'm just gonna put the same name, Google Drive Demo VBA, like this. And then we can add the logo as well. Let's select this logo. And that's pretty much it. I'm gonna leave the scope and everything. We'll set up the scope and all from, um, from our project and click on save. Okay, now we can go ahead and create the credentials. Um, so here you should be able to create two type of credentials, one for user and one for service. Uh, for service account, uh, service account also will have um, a Google Drive of its own, and then it can only access that particular drive, okay? But if you create this, um, this particular ID or credentials, um, Whoever uses this ID, this particular ID, they can connect to that particular, their self, Google Drive, okay? Let's create this first. 
from the drop down you select uh, whatever is applicable for us this is going to be desktop application and let's call this um, I'll just call this VBA and then user this is just for identification later on and keep this particular client ID and uh, your client secret uh, confidential okay so now this is ready um, now you can download this into JSON file or you can hard code this as well in your code but for this uh, project you can only use the JSON file okay so here's the JSON file that I've downloaded it will, I'll just show in a moment now let's create for service as well now once we demonstrate in an example it will be more clear so let's call this service account as um, VBA demo service and this is going to be the you know like service account email ID okay and then if you want to put a description you can put it there so this is more like a, a brand new user in Google um, this particular user will have um, this more like a robotic robot uh, account so this user will also have a um, drive of its own but you won't be able to see it from the Google Drive okay so you can programmatically um, you know like load uh, and see the files through your program only click on create so the account has been created now uh, we can set up the role let's set up the role as owner and click on continue if you have more roles based on um, you know like based on the account that you create then you can assign a role I'm gonna leave this as it is and here you should be able to see that um, this particular user also have access to this um, drive and then um, these are the owners and this is the new service account we've just created I'm just click on done so we have created uh, a new service account now once you go inside this you should be able to generate um, to be at, able to add a key let's just scroll down a bit so here this section is blank now click on add key and create new key if you have existing key you can upload them as well and here you can download JSON or P12 uh, this particular program can use both you can either go for P12 or JSON I'm gonna go for JSON okay now this particular uh, JSON file has been automatically downloaded as you can see down here and then uh, click close and again keep this confidential I'm gonna save this and then go back here okay so now we have uh, these two created one for the user and one for service we have the keys downloaded now we will be able to use this uh, in our program in VBA now we'll call this I'll just call this service because I will not remember it later and then this is going to be the user now I'm going to copy these two uh, files to this particular folder I'll just put this as credentials and I'll leave it here okay now uh, once you download the program you should be able to see these files um, all these files so you can either run this MSI or the setup uh, to install the program and then this is for demonstration purpose now let's go ahead and install this program using this setup.exe just follow the screen uh, keep a note where this particular program is getting installed I'll just copy this and then click next next um, so this program uses uh, .NET library 4.7.2 so probably if you have like prior versions of Excel like um, 2007 or 3 probably you'll get a prompt to download this um, .NET library um, if you you know like uh, go with that option it's automatically gonna install those for you as well along with that so just follow the screen now we have already installed that program let me run this uh, the path that I just copied earlier now the file we're interested in is this file okay this file basically is uh, linked to all these um, DLL files uh, where the functions are or methods are already stored um, now this is the file uh, you can open this file after you download this now we can uh, you know like try it out 
again this is very simplified so uh, anyone uh, even beginners in VBA program can follow this Let's give it a moment okay here it is so just ignore these buttons for now uh, once you open up your editor uh, in the sample module you'll see uh, all these codes now first and foremost you'll see that this particular file has been referenced to uh, this TBL file that I was talking about this file here okay in the programs folder so if you install it to another folder what you can do is you can uncheck this click on OK and then you can relaunch these references and reference uh, it to that file okay so google drive.tbl file that's basically again linking to all the other libraries and now um, first what we need to do here is in, all, in order for this VB program to access uh, the drive we need to set up the uh, here the credentials that we've downloaded so if we go to credentials folder let's try with the user first shift right click I'll copy this spot okay this is the user credentials that we have generated and here in this part I'm gonna put the JSON file part okay like this so in this parameter this is basically um, for the file credential file and here you can specify either service or user we'll, we'll go first with user uh, this is only required the third parameter is only required when you use .b12 file so when we created our um, our key here we download the JSON file so in case you use .b12 you need to mention this email ID as well that you use for that okay so for example like this even if there is no email ID for user well you're using this user um, file you don't need to specify this it, it should be okay now uh, in order to confirm that you can just run this code um, it'll basically return what you've entered here okay so if you get an error probably the installation was not correct or it failed or it's not installed now let's first try it out I'm gonna go to Google Drive now from here I'm gonna go to Drive this drive should be blank now okay so the drive is blank there's nothing in trash nothing shared okay uh, so first let's try and create a folder using this VBA code now let me explain this now basically this variable is linking to this particular uh, library okay and then this is the class within that particular library now for your understanding just just say that this is uh, for example like uh, any other uh, library or methods in VBA and then uh, like let's say this is uh, a worksheet for example and then once you set this up you should be able to access the methods and properties associated with this particular class okay uh, so this drive dot and then you know like uh, this is in case service needs to be set up or connection needs to be set up to Google uh, service uh, this this part will take care of that this will be taking care of the service or connection and this part will execute the method okay so here this particular object dot create folder and then this is the uh, part where you specify what will be the name of the folder okay so let's give it a try and then we can now see the consent screen as well so I'll just call this VBA um, folder from VBA something like that and now once I run this for the first time when you're running this you'll get a prompt uh, the consent screen that we set up we'll see that now so I'm gonna run this code now and this is the authentication uh, screen so here it will say okay choose an account to continue to this particular remember this consent screen Google Drive demo VBA now you select your account and then you'll get this prompt uh, just ignore this because this is not verified uh, project as you can see if you create a verified project uh, then you will be able to 
uh, you know, like you won't get this prompt. Or you can learn more from here. Click on advance and then go to this. Just continue. And then you'll get a prompt, uh, you know, like give access, all this. And then click on allow. And then allow one more time. You're allowing this program to see this, this, this. Okay. Now, this, uh, if you give, um, you know, if you consent, you'll receive this window, receive verification code. You may close this window. I'm just going to close this. And then here it says, this is the folder that has been created. This is the ID of that folder. And then now, if I go to this particular folder, credentials folder, you'll see there's a token saved here. Okay. This is token that has been saved. Now, every time this app needs to, you know, like do some more activity, it's going to refer to this token till the time it expires. Uh, so if you delete this uh, token, then it will, you know, like ask the users again to give a consent. Yeah. Okay. So if I go to this folder, you'll see this is a folder created from VBA. And once you go in there, there's nothing. And the next one is there is a, um, a code that is uh, to list all the files in Google. Um, now, if I run this, we can run this as well by clicking on this. Now, this is the file name, the ID, the parent ID, when it was last modified, size, and then the type of uh, where it's file or a folder. Okay, so this basically lists all the files. At the moment, we only have one folder without any file. Uh, so let me create a subfolder first. Let's say that we want to create a subfolder underneath this. Uh, we can just get the ID of this and if I go back here I'll specify what will be the parent ID again all this um, all these process are in the same fashion this is the class and then this is the method again we pass the account credentials whatever credential is passed here and then Again, this one is the parent ID where we want to create a folder and let's say this is VBA subfolder or something like that. Now if I run this code, we are expecting that the folder to be underneath this folder. Okay. Now run this. So it says this folder has been created. Again, we can verify this from here as well. This is the folder VBA subfolder has been created. And if I go in here, there's a VB subfolder. Okay, so far all good. Um, okay, let me just take care of this array. Just give me one second. Just the headers. This is just taking care of the headers. It's not important actually. Okay, that's fine now. Now we have, uh, you know, like we've learned how to use, uh, create a folder, subfolder, and return all the files. Now let me walk you through this particular code that returns all the files or folders. Um, this is the code that does that. Now, um, again, uh, reference to the class, and then you know, like pass the account credentials. Uh, this is just to set up the headers. These headers, okay. So it's not important, and then coming back um, so here basically this particular method list files and fol folders this will um, there's a typo there but uh, just ignore that so basically this uh, method is gonna bring back all the files or folders um, you know like uh, sorted by date modified and then this particular string as you can uh, see here so this is the entire string. Uh, the first part here is the folder name. This is the delimiter, and then this the ID of that particular file or folder. This is the parent ID when it was last modified, the size, and the type, whether it's a file or it's a folder. Okay, the mean type. And if I go back here, this part is basically returning that. And what I did here is find the last row with the data, and then this part basically splits using this delimiter okay same delimiter and then it splits into um splits this string this particular string into different different um arrays and then at the end i'm just writing it down here 
So as you can see here, this part is looping from zero till whatever, you know, like the split return, and then it's writing to cells, whatever was splitted. Yeah, it's basically that. Now the important thing to know here is this particular part. Yeah, it's just returning the entire string here, and then you can utilize that to split it, and then maybe you can, um, for example, let's say that you can also set in this manner that uh, file name file name is equal to this and the file name is zero right the starting index and then the next one is file id is equal to one so you can also do in that fashion and then you can use maybe in your tree view or in other controls in your other programs okay so that's as simple as that to list all the files from there again you know like for now, I have included only these attributes of the files and folders, but uh, in the next version, if you want me to include more other attributes, uh, let me know, I'll take care of that. Now let's try more examples. Uh, the next one here is to upload the file, okay? Again, same account credentials, uh, the class or object, and then the method to upload the file. Here it can take two parameters, the parent folder ID and the file name, full file part, yeah? So for that, I've created some demo files here. And that's for download, just for upload. So let's say we want to upload this particular file. I'm just gonna shift right click, copy the full part and put it here. Okay, so let's say this is a, a file we want to upload and we want to upload to the subfolder and not to the main folder then you can just put the ID here parent folder ID and let me run this so if we go back here and confirm there's no data at the moment yeah okay so let's go back here and run this upload file yeah so we'll upload this file and then this is where it's gonna upload to and this will return the status this file name and then this is the list um, the execution status okay so upload status is true okay and the file is this that was uploaded now if we go to the drive you should see this file is here okay now if I open this it should be all good um, now let's try more examples uh, let's try to upload another type of file this is the pdf file now let's upload it to um, obviously if you implement this you're not gonna copy the id and put it here like that you can refer to these variables from any of your program based on how you set it up um, so let me run this. Now we are uploading it to a folder from VBA. This is the PDF file. It says download uh, uploaded. Now if we go to drive and go in here, to so see this is the PDF file that we just uploaded. Okay. Now um, let's see what's next. Download the file. Okay. So here, if I list the files. It should have more two folders and two files yeah and if you look here at the parent id you'll see um these two th this particular uh folder is in this particular you know like um the uh the children this is children of this basically that's what i'm just trying to say and then again this pdf uh, file is parent is this which is this yeah um, so you can, you know, like easily populate this in a tree view. Uh, if you have not seen a tree view video, you should definitely check it out in the UI and UX uh, user form series. Um, okay, so now let's try and download the file. Let's say we want to download this particular file. Uh, you'll have to specify the ID for download, download file, uh, this class download file. And here it can take the ID and where you want to download the file so for example we want to download here so i've already placed that file part here like this okay now if i run this code we are expecting the file this pdf file to be downloaded here okay so let's run this 
this is you know is this return the path where it's downloaded now if I refresh now you see zero but if I refresh the folder you should be able to see so it takes the bigger files will take some more time to um, you know like uh, down, get downloaded I don't have PDF reader so that's why it's opening in Chrome okay um, so let's try to download another file so as you can see here this file is downloaded okay okay now let's go to the next one now this one is to delete the files now let's say that we want to delete this particular file the PDF file you can specify this ID here and again a concrete cells this uh, object and the method okay uh, going back here this is the file we're trying to download now uh, I mean delete yeah now I'm not gonna run this so let's file here and then if you go back here as well you'll see that that PDF file has been deleted now if you go to trash you will not be able to see it in the trash okay this uh, you know like deleted forever now uh, let's try with the service account uh, again the idea is same um, we will just need to specify that we are using the service account instead of user so here we have user now let's say this is service account and again uh, if you go here you're in this particular user ID and this is the drive right you do not have uh, a way to see um, there is no interface that's what I'm trying to say there's no interface to see the Google Drive of the service account so one way will be to give full access to any other user and then you'll be able to, to see those files and folders in shared with me to whoever you give full access um, so now going back here now we're specifying that okay we're going to use service account and then let's go to the folder and get the service account path shift right click copy the path now I'm going to just comment this out and paste the path here so now the type is service and the you know like the JSON file the credential file is also now in the service and this is again when you're using JSON files this part is not relevant but in case you download again P2, P12 file and you want to use that certificate uh, as authentication then you need to specify this um, service account uh, email ID and that email ID can be found here okay in the service account section um, okay so let's try and uh, run this now remember again uh, when you're using service account there is no authentication so let's say that um, you generate uh, I mean you create an app and then that app you want all the users all your users to upload and download file to that particular service account drive only then you can share your uh, application and then you can share uh, share this service uh, you know like um, the JSON file okay so everyone will upload to that particular location because when you're using the user uh, credentials whoever uses the app will access their res you know respective uh, Google Drive but when you're using service uh, account everyone who uses the app access one single drive because this service uh, credentials can only access that particular drive okay so I hope that is clear now if I click here we are not expecting anything because in the service account Google Drive we do not we have not uploaded anything yet okay so now let's do the same thing let me just um, repeat the same thing that we have done earlier I'm gonna run this let's call this VBA service account something like that okay so it says created a folder now you should be able to see that it's created again there's no way to see in here because it's uh, you know like service account does not have the interface 
and if I have to create the subfolder now we need to create a subfolder underneath this ID okay let's call this subfolder demo once you list here you should be able to see it okay remember once we uh, change the credential it did not get any prompt so if you share your application and uh, the application is going to use a service account uh, the user will not get that prompt screen okay mm -hmm. now let's try to this part we already talked about this is the same thing it's going to list all the files in that particular drive and then coming down here let's say we want to upload so let's upload the same files this file the PDF file and we want to upload it to this folder or you can upload it to the root folder as well this will be the root folder yeah so upload status is true and the file is this now retrieve so this is the file we have just upload it let's up upload more files let's say you want to upload a bigger file like this this is uh, 271 MB now we are gonna upload it to the same folder So it will take a little bit more time as compared to the smaller files. So now it's completed. It took a little bit of time, but it completed. Now if we just list the files again, now we will see that this particular file has been uploaded successfully. And this size is in bytes, okay? So if you have to convert it to KB or MB, then you can just divide it accordingly. And now let's try and download the files. Um, so let's download the smaller file so that it does not take too much time. Let's try this file. Now in the download folder, this file is already there. Let me just rename this. Okay, mm, the folder is destination folder is same. Now let me run this. Let's download this and here's the file okay so again the same uh, you know like uh, the idea is same even if you user using user account credentials or service account now let's delete this file if I list this file is still there now let me go ahead and delete now this this uh, buttons are linked to this codes just for testing purpose. So this file deleted. Now if I retrieve this, you will not see that particular file. So guys, that's gonna be all for this particular video. Uh, do try it out and let me know if you face any issues, any errors. Um, if you have any suggestions to improve this, this is the first version that I am releasing now. And uh, if you have any suggestion or if you face any problem. Do comment on the video below and then I'll try to look into that as soon as possible. And down at the bottom, I just forgot to mention that here is uh, the methods that you can use and the parameters. So what type of data that you can pass and as you can see here, all of them are string. For listing the folders, you just need to pass the delimiter. To upload the file, you need to specify the parent ID where you want to upload and then this is the file path to upload and so on and then this is just for the headers so yep um, I definitely you know, like uh, suggest you to try it out and then if you have any questions or if you ha are interested to learn how to create a tool like this for your VBA uh, custom libraries um, for your business do, do let me know and then I'll try to assist you okay thank you so much for watching and if you could share this video with your friends um, it will be very helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye.